Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Conan Exile Savage Wilds. We are heading in the predetermined route that we determined last episode. We just got done beating down that vulture, the three-star vulture. Oops. Only gained us a black blood hatchet. So I got two of those now. Um, and then another skeleton key. So I was hoping for one of the other tools, the black blood, you know, daggers or something, but... Oh well, life gives you what it what it gives you. Now I have a hatchet forever. <laughs> I mean, how many trees am I really gonna cut down with that thing? Um, so now we're heading north to where oh, uh huh, where I'm hoping is somewhere new. This isn't north. That's north. But that's also new. So we'll head down. Kind of see what's down in this area here. Hopefully something cool. Uh... What the hell is that? What the hell is that? That thing is huge. Oh my god. What are you? Ow. You are a one-star monster. Okay. Let's see what happens when you die. Hit hard. Come on, baby. Just step on my wolf, you jerk. Alright, uh... Well, shoot. If it's got a head, I want it. It doesn't seem to have a head. No, a chemical base. <laughs> Neat. It's a Yeti of some sort. Well, this area's already turning out to be kind of cute with its giant trees and its Yetis. Where am I? Okay. There's another one. Does he look different? <laughs> Oh yeah, he's not a one star. He's just a regular Yeti. Oh yeah, he went down easy. Does he give? Fur. Okay, fur and thick leather. Nothing big here. I don't have a ton of fur. Elephants don't really give fur. So I guess I'll keep it, but... Okay, so this is a nice area. I mean, this would be kind of a cool place to build if I didn't already have a home. <laughs> it's got two access points, but if you build over there and maybe up these trees, because you can build up trees. You could have, you know, elevators going up and then elevators going to the other tree for different platforms and then just an area down here to guard from the purge. That'd be pretty cool. I know, I always, I always think in terms of the purge, but that's because the purge will mess up your builds pretty big. Try it. Let's head north, see what happens, huh? The Glowing Pond, this is called. Why for is it called the Glowing Pond? Ooh, orange fig, look, 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 there's glowing goop down here. Okay. Okay. Plant fibers. Neat little pond. Refill my water. Ooh. This mountain is black. It's ugly up here. I like it. Okay, well, I fought a couple more of those. Oh, there's a gator. There's a legit gator over there. I think that's the first regular gator I've seen. But, uh... Yeah. Alright, well, the glowing pond, I guess. Fought a couple more of those guys, got some steel fire. Oh, there's another one. We'll get some steel fire or alchemical fire. It seemed or base. It seems to be kinda random which one we get. Let's see what we get this time. Actually, let's try Is that the one I used? Oh. Let's try 
Tide, Thick Hide, Feral Flesh, Demon Blood. Okay. We don't really get anything for that. I guess we can leave it on there. Um, where was I going? Didn't I see a mountain pass? Did I not? Oh no, there's no pass here. Mm, there might be something up there. Man, this place is neat. Look at that. The land bridge. Going from mountain to mountain. And then there's a little, there's another, there's another water over here. I don't want to go up that and go that way, but I also kind of want to see what that is. Yeah, we're going up. We are going up. I'm going to put the climbing boots on. And probably brought her climb up. Oh, baby. Let's say we time lapse this. Okay, well, lots of goats. Oh, why are the goats so angry? We want to look over the edge. What goes on down there? Boink. Stupid goat. Silly goat. Oh, shit. I haven't put a bedroll down in a while. That would have been terrible. Uh-huh. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. This place is pretty. No fancy names, though. Oh, here we go. Elowin's Pond. I wonder why it's called that. Is that a character in the Lord of the Rings? Oh, I don't see any bugaboos or critterboos or anything crazy. It's a path. Where's my horse? Oh. Let's take the path. Bet you it leads somewhere cute. It goes down. I don't want to go down. Probably just goats up this way. Oh, that's a big body of water. Exactly. This is way cooler than going down some silly path. <laughs> what the devil was that about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chill out, dog. Oh, is that what I think it is? Is that King Elk? Oh, it's King Elk. This is my first boss creature head I'm gonna get. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, where's my cleaver? Come on, baby. Yeah, Elk Head. <laughs> yeah, head of a boss creature, baby. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> the exotic flesh is cool and all, but I get exotic flesh from the elephants that live nearby my house. What goes on up here? What goes on up here? Oh, wait a minute. That's got glowing eyeball. What is this? Okay. First thing you always do when going somewhere new. Bedroll bait. Aw. Where's my flesh? Horse, you have my flesh. Boink. Um. What's heavy? Horse can have the demon blood. The elk head. 
After I make my bed, you can have the flesh back. What goes on down here? Oh, they're people. Of course they're people. Where's my people dagger? Boink. And... What kind of people? These guys look like... Hmm. This is that town that I was going to... Okay. Um... I don't want to go in here and... Okay, first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to head up this way. I'm going to go back and set up my Wheel of Pain. Because I don't want to, you know, run into a Tier 4 Thrall or something really cool and miss out on being able to tame it because I didn't put my wheel down. So let me do that and then I'll be back. Okay, so I decided to run down in here real quick and knock some dudes out, and look what I found. Little figurines. Character sheet. Ernie, strength 11, 11, smarts 11, moves 4, damage, dice. <laughs> They're playing Dungeons and Dragons. Orgavild, strength, smarts, moves, damage. Oh, Jesus, that guy. Gronk, smarts, moves, damage. Glork, super strong, no smarts, no moves, lots of damage. Oh my god. Okay, had to wait for dawn. But that... <laughs> that's so funny. Alright, now I should, now that these guys... No, nothing good here, just a bunch of low-level garbage people. Oh, were they Sumerian? I didn't even look. Yeah, that guy was Sumerian. Yeah. Yeah. So lots of Sumerian dudes, but nothing particularly good. And I think if I go through here, the uh, I can get through without aggroing anybody from the town proper. Because I think that's the wall for the town proper. These guys were just the priests and some dudes that were playing, <laughs> playing games. So let's go find us a place to put this wheel up. Okay. And then we'll put Anna on there. Boink. And then... Oh, I didn't bring... Oh, man. I didn't bring any food. Just the food that I have on my person. Which I guess is enough. I'll just, I can probably use that. Okay, and then let's grab my... Where's my rope? Please tell me I put it back in the horse. Oh, it's right there. Sometimes I wonder if I'm just getting old. Okay, whoops. Okay, so let's get you guarding again, since I did that. And Dog is going to guard the horse. And then, did I pick that bedroll up or leave it? I left it. So I'll get a bedroll down, and then we'll go check those guys out. All right, everybody's armed with a truncheon. Let's go knock out some Sumerians. Let's see if we can't find maybe a berserker or a uh, shadow in the mist. A shadow in the mists. What are you? I mean, Sumerian Fighter Three isn't a bad one. I'm definitely gonna want a couple of those to guard my base. Ooh, jerk! All right. Well, yeah. I'm gonna take you two. Those two-handed swords are no joke, man. All right, so let's throw you in. Okay, that would be 17 hours. So if I split this and then do that, that's still five hours. Plenty of time. Anna will get them broken well before the five-hour mark. And I'm sure I'll find food up here that I can eat. Is he pushing? Oh, I love how they populate the wheels now. Love how they populate the wheels. All right, what else do we have up here? Well then, there's my berserker. Let's head back. We'll come back and see if that 
level three taskmaster still here. It'd be cool to have someone on my torturer's table full time. Oh, psh, you're almost done. That's insanity. Okay, let's see what goes on in here. Do we have anything cool? Let's see a table, cookery, ooh, a book. Book of Taunts. Nice. Wait a minute. I learned what now? Oh my god. Uh, that looks like all that goes on in here. Okay, do I want... More Sumerian fighters. Yeah, I think I'll take one more and then I'll head over because they got they're gonna have good weapons too. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna keep this up for a little while, and uh, if anything super cool happens, I'll bring it back. But I think for now, yeah, let's get some more friends. All right, we found an alchemist. Hope they don't kill me. Yeah, we got Damoc the Experimenter. I hit him a couple of times, but he should be fine. Oh, Jesus. He's coming after me like a turd. Alright, let's do this. Get him knocked out. Come on, baby. Okay, they knocked him out. Anybody else can die for all I care. Alright, what, what, what do we knock out? Fighter 2, Sumerian Cook, Darmok the Experimenter. What else is up here? Archer, Treasure Box. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Where'd he go? Darmok the Experimenter, you're coming with me. Well, shit. So, for the future, do not attack Hyperboreans. That's Mikey T and the Sumerian Berserker down there dead. Those are several of my bodies. And that was like four Hyperboreans. And... Dog. <sighs> Damn it. Now give me all your giblets, dude. Do you guys count as people? Yeah, you do. Mikey T, Sumerian Berserker. Heaviest. Glad I had the wherewithal to put up a a bedroll, but damn it. <laughs> These guys are no joke. Where'd the rest of their bodies go? One. Yeah. All for some bronze coin and some steel bars. Now what's this? I will definitely eat that right now. Up. Feral dog carcass, huh? Where did my meat go? Wow. That was a loss. What's this? Oh, shit. I found a hardened steel greatsword. Oh, crap, they're respawning. Hopefully that's not the guy with the javelin. Yeah. Nope. Don't kill my horse. Okay. Good. Oh boy. Well guys, um, I got froggy. I thought I was gonna be good. I came up here just to kind of see what's up here, and I've seen what's up here. <laughs> I'm not coming back up here until I've got a little bit more. Just more. Oh yeah, look at that. The guys killed this. I wasn't even... I was just trying to climb around. I don't even know what this thing was, but it was a, it was a rock nose with a bunch of weirdness on it. 
but I'm going to go back home with my tail between my legs. God. And, uh... Oh, crap. Try to figure out how to get back home with all of this junk on me, but I'm gonna head back home and, uh... Oh, I don't need the feral dog carcass. Hopefully be able to get these Sumerians that I had, because I got a couple more Sumerian number threes. I'll get back home, reassess what we're doing, and then we gotta prepare for this purge, too. Look at that. I mean, we're not super close, but I'm gonna need some more thralls, so I think what I'm gonna be doing, guys, is thrall hunting for this foreseeable future. I need to get some stronger ones. Where the hell? Come on, Odin. Can't direct him like I direct a regular thrall. Do some thrall hunting and uh, get some equipment for them to protect the base. And then once that's out of our way, maybe legendary weapon hunting. Oh, did I get their weapons? Yeah, there's the Tolwar. Where's the great sword? Star metal great sword. Okay. I didn't bring the katana. The katana's still on the other guy. I'm wondering if Star Metal's up here somewhere, too. I mean, I could always go and just not get in a fight. Oh, we're, oh yeah, here we go. Corpse Eater's Outpost. Doggy. That was unfortunate. I had put in a lot of hours into Mikey T. And the Sumerian Berserker I had just gotten, but he was already level 6. So, I'm going to head back home, guys, and uh, reassess what's going on, and then just do some more thrall gathering so i hope you guys enjoyed <laughs> the thrall hunting episode with the unfortunate ending um oh the double sword on my back thing is solved thanks to one of you fine fine listeners essentially you go into no not server settings where is it gameplay scroll all the way down here we go show sheathed weapons so i turned it to don't show because i've got the fashionista one on so I'm going to just use the Fashionista sheath weapons, because it's not something I really care about too much. But I'm going to, yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed what you saw. Please hit that like button, subscribe. Leave any comments, uh, tips. Obviously, I'm not the best at this game. Hey, what's this? Oh, okay. It's just a camp. There's probably some flotsam out there. That. Yeah. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed what you saw, so... If you did, do all those things that YouTubers do, and they like videos, and have a great rest of your day.